DirectFix.com presents the Verizon iPhone 4 Take Apart Directions. Be sure to check us out on the web at DirectFix.com. Use coupon code YouTube7 for 7% off your first order. Warning, this content is intended to be used for informational and entertainment purposes only. You are using this video directions and its content at your own risk. X Micro Solution Inc. makes no representation, warranties, or conditions of any kind expressed or implied. Following these directions on the video will void your warranty or performing this repair at your own risk. On the outside, the Verizon iPhone 4 looks identical to the AT&T model, but there are a few differences, so let's look at them both together. On the back, you'll notice there's less typing on the bottom. And on the side, you'll of course notice the absence of a SIM card slot on the Verizon model. as well as hash marks along the sides appearing in different spots on each model. Looking at the volume and mute switch buttons, you'll notice that the volume buttons line up perfectly, but the mute switches don't. On the AT&T model, it is slightly higher than on the Verizon model. Okay, to begin, we're going to use our pentalobe five-point screwdriver to remove the two bottom case screws. With those two screws removed, simply push up the back cover and it will slide off. We're now going to remove the battery. As in the AT&T model, it is connected near the bottom of the unit and secured with one screw. Using your Phillips screwdriver, remove this screw. Using your case opener tool, gently pry up the connector for the battery, and then pry up the battery out of the case. The next thing we're going to remove is this small metal shield near the top of the unit. It is secured with five small Phillips screws. With those screws removed, the metal shield is easily pulled out. Underneath that shield, you will find six connectors connected to the motherboard.
Using your case opener tool, pry up the one in the top left corner. This is for the camera. Now use your case opener tool to pry up the two connectors near the top of the unit. This is for the screen and touch panel. Now using your Phillips screwdriver you're going to remove another small shield, this one covering a small antenna cable. Now you're going to remove another shield about midway down the unit. This covers a connector for a very long ribbon that runs along the side. Now use your case opener tool to gently pull up this connector and pull back this long ribbon cable. There's a bit of adhesive at the bottom so be careful. Now you're going to remove another shield, securing another antenna cable. This cable is snaked around a small metal bracket, so be careful when you remove it. There are five screws securing the motherboard into the phone. Two of these screws are your standard small Phillips head. The other three are larger and require the use of a flat blade screwdriver.
With the screws removed, the motherboard easily slides out of the phone. The next part we're going to remove is the speaker microphone module at the bottom of the phone. It is secured with two small Phillips head screws, one on either side. Next we're going to remove the vibrator. You'll notice that it's much different from the vibrator in the AT&T model. Use your case opener tool to gently pry this up. The only thing holding it down is a bit of adhesive. Now we're going to remove the screws for the screen of the phone. Just as in the AT&T model, there are four small Phillips screws in the corners of the unit, as well as three with washers along the sides. Now with all of those screws removed, you can use your case opener tool to very gently pry up the screen of the phone. Start near the top, and once you have the case opener between the case and the screen, gently pull up. Once you have the screen beginning to separate, be very careful and make sure that the ribbons are going through the small hole in the frame of the phone. With the screen removed, you're now done disassembling the iPhone 4 and all of its major components.
Please be sure to check our website, directfix.com. Just click the link below for all your parts and accessory needs.